Alrighty guys, thanks for joining me. This is your host, Tidy Jester. We're going to be playing Mystic Veil vale here. I'm going to go through a uh, hopefully kind of quick overview tutorial on how to play. And then uh, show you some gameplay for Mystic Veil. Vale. And uh, hopefully if you're unfamiliar with this game or not sure how to play, you can check this out and uh, learn a few things about Mystic Veil. Vale. So right now I'm just going to set up a just a classic offline game here in Mystic Veil vale on the computer. Figure it'd be a little easier to show you guys where you can see the cards and everything um, this way. I will just set up myself and one AI. We'll hit start. All right. So we're in a game of Mystic Veil vale here. It is a deck building. And I use deck kind of a as a kind of a generic term because in Mystic Veil vale you have these special sleeved cards that have three locations, a top, a middle, and a bottom. And so what you're going to do is buy enhancements and slot those into your cards to make them better and give them special powers and abilities that you can use to purchase better enhancements. And then um, at the end of the game, whoever has the most victory points wins. When you're playing a two-player game, you can see there's a pool of 23 victory points. When those victory points run out, then you finish the round. So even if you're in the, when they run out, if you're halfway through the round, you continue the round until it's completely over. And any extra victory points that are earned just come out of the box. So you still earn them. You just, um, this is the timing mechanism. If you play with more than two players, you'll have more victory points there. Uh, you'll check the rules for the starting amount of victory points. Uh, what you end up doing is you're going to take your deck of 20 cards and they're always start with 20 cards and your deck's going to be the same as everyone else unless you're playing with some of the expansions that add leaders. If you add leaders to the game, then you will have a special hero that will give you special abilities that will be different than the other characters. But if you play with just the base game, then your deck starts like just everybody else's deck. So there are enhancements in the game, which are these uh, these abilities here. There is going to be always, you always have these in the game, which are your fertile soils. You're going to have six for the top, six for the middle, and six for the bottom. And then you're going to have three level ones. We click on one of these. You can see that it has one little pip there showing it's level one. Up at the top right hand corner is how much it costs. And then it'll either give you special abilities or powers and different um, symbol, uh, different uh, abilities. And I'll show you what these abilities are. So let's look at the icons on the cards. So this blue icon is mana. So basically mana is your resource you're spending to purchase more cards. This red icon here is corruption. And what you're going to be doing is dealing out cards until you have three corruptions showing, whether it's in your field or on deck card. And once you have three showing, uh, your top card of your deck is always faced up. Uh, you will stop and then you have to decide whether or not to press your luck and bring this card into your field and flip up the next card. If you ever have more than three Corruption showing at a time you spoil and you lose your turn. All your cards get discarded. So it's uh, kind of a press your luck mechanic. The only uh, consequence for that is obviously you lose your turn and every, all the cards that you would have earned and all the abilities. But you will get a special token that you will flip up, which will give you one mana for a future turn. So at this point, we have earned us two mana. The card that is up face up on top of your deck is not available for anything other than to warn you that you have another corruption. So we don't get anything from any of the card that's on deck, only the cards that are out in our field here. So you can see we have one, two mana. We have two corruption. If we press your lock, brought this in, we would flip the next cup, 
card up. And if it also had a corruption, we would have four and we would spoil. And let's go ahead and do that to, to show you how that works. We'll take a little risk. Do we want to take a risk is the first question. So right now we have two mana. Two mana, you can always buy Fertile Soil for two. We actually have a couple cards out here that are level ones that only cost two. And then obviously the level twos and level threes are going to cost much more mana. So we don't have to worry about those. The other thing that are up here are your veils. Obviously the game is called Mystic Veils. So veils are obviously very important. You need special tokens to purchase these veils. And there's spirits that you can earn. So we have yellow spirit, which is sun. We have the brown spirit, which is animals. And we have the green spirit, which is earth. So this one has all three of them on there. And you need to have two of each of those. Uh, I should mention that when you uh, put your cards into the field, your resources for your spirits just go into a general pool. So you don't need to have a card that has two green, two yellow, and a brown all on it to earn this card. You can have a green one here and two brown ones on this one and a, a green and two yellow ones on this one. So again, they just go into a general pool that then you can use to purchase these. Obviously, again, level twos are a lot harder to get. Some of them might give you special abilities. Others of them might give you victory points, which is down here in the bottom corner and again whoever has the most victory points at the end of the game one thing of note now that i'm thinking about it is you can have cards that earn you victory points every time they're played so over here on the left hand side the victory points anything on the left hand side every time this card is played it'll be worth a certain amount of victory points and these are the points that come out of the pool and down here at the bottom is the victory points it's worth at the end of the game. So two different. Uh, they're not worth, this is not worth four victory points at the end of the game. It's worth two victory points at the end of the game and then two every time it comes out. So if we were to press our rock right now, we're risking two mana and nothing else. So we're going to go ahead and risk it and see what happens. Oh, we ended up spoiling. So we brought this into play. And we flip up our top card, and unfortunately for us, it had a corruption on it. So we have four, and we have spoiled, as you can see. So we're going to lose everything, but we will get one mana for a future turn, which will help us get a little bit more mana. He ended up buying a card and a fertile soil. Lucky him. Must be nice. So you can see we only have one, two mana again in our field, and one on deck, and we earned one with our special token. So we have two plus our special token, which gives us a maximum of three. We're going to go ahead and push our luck again. Why not? Oh, we spoiled again. So this is off to a really bad start because we spoiled both times which doesn't normally happen but we must have had literally every one of our cards on top of our deck were corruption so what we're going to do is we're actually going to leave the game we'll start again so that way we don't get too far behind but that's the risk you pay for um no, I don't want to load our save game. Thanks. We weren't doing so good in our save game. We're going to try better this time. All right. So you can see the level ones and level twos and level threes are all randomized based on which cards and which expansions you have. And of course, your level ones, you will always have four of those. So level twos, you always have four of those. And I should mention, you can only buy two enhancements and two veils during your turn. So if you had boatload of mana, you could only buy two of them anyways, and a boatload of these tokens, um, you could only buy two of those as well. So once again, we have two mana to start the game. I'm sorry, no, we have three, because there's a card way over here. So we actually have three. This is a better draw for us. 
All right, so we could get a Deadwood Harvester. It doesn't give us anything other than the ability to discard any other card in our field. So when this is played, let's say this is the card on top, we could get rid of, say, one of these cards with Corruption on it, which might let us get more cards out to play. Um, it doesn't give us any mana. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to start going into our harvest phase. And we're going to go ahead and just buy a fertile soil. And the computer bought a fertile soil. Once again, we have three on our cards. All right, we will go ahead and buy this harvester. And... We'll put her on her own card. All right, once again, we have three. We, have, we can get Fertile Soil or we can get a Cleansing Rain. Search your deck for any card and you may put it into your discard pile. Your deck will then be shuffled. Hmm, not that great. We really need to get more mana going. So what we're going to do is we're going to Go into our planting phase. We're going to buy a middle row. We're going to make this card two mana for us. And he did the same thing. And once again, not much going on. We could risk. Let's see. So in your starting deck, you will have nine corruptions. We have six in our discard pile. Seven, eight, and nine. You can see over here we have one more card to draw. So I know this card is okay. So we're going to go ahead and risk it. And it just ends up being a blank. But we end up getting a third in our field. And now we don't want to risk because now we would have to draw. We'd have to shuffle our deck and start over. So it's unknown what we would get. I was hoping that maybe instead of a blank, we might get another mana. So you can see the difference between three and four is pretty significant. We could get this Grasslands, one of the symbols we didn't talk about. Uh, this is the growth icon. So the tree is the growth icon. And what that does is it cancels a corruption token. So if this was on a card or even by itself... It would cancel one of your uh, corruption tokens and allows you to get a bigger... Mm, do we want to risk it then? We don't want to risk it because we risk it. This card would come into our field and that is a blank. It's not going to give us anything. So we will once again... Bummerouskis. We will go ahead and just stay with our three and buy another fertile soil and hope we get a better draw. You got a fertile soil. So we got a better draw this time. So you see if we would have drawn this in to our deck, the next card that would have been on top was this one. So we wouldn't have spoiled. But if we then tried to bring this into our field, we would have spoiled because this card would have been on deck. But we end up with two, four, six, much better. We still don't have any symbols, but now we can afford something much better. Let's see what we have out here. All right. Uh, one thing we haven't talked about is this little symbol here. It's called a guardian symbol, and they will give you certain bonuses based on some effects that cards have. So you can see that uh, we gain one token for each um, guardian on this card, and it does count this one as well. So we don't have anything to match with that right now. Although the Grove Tender and the Feral Champion work pretty well together because he gives you one growth icon for each helmet. And that's all we can afford. He would give us a sun. The wellspring would give us an earth and an animal. And you notice the world tree up here also is an earth and an animal. So we could use this to purchase this card. 
The sun token would help us purchase a couple of these. Hmm. This card only works well with... Yep, you know what? We're going to buy the Feral Chief and we're going to put him on a card by himself. So hopefully we can get other helmets to work with him. Okay. And once again, we only have two mana. If we were to push our luck, though, and bring this one into our field, and we were to spoil, then we would lose this card. And I would like to keep our nice mana card there. So we will go ahead and just take our two mana and put that with that. And... Hopefully we'll get a better turn. Okay, so let's get rid of this card. So we got our Deadwood Harvester. So it's asking us if we can discard any other card. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one because it counts against us. So let's discard that one. Still only ended up with three. Well, let's see what we have. We count our discard pile. We have five in our discard pile. And we have six, seven, eight. So we have two cards left. One is good and one is bad. Hmm. Um, not a lot to buy for three right now. Unfortunately, we did not get some very good. We will go ahead and not risk it. I'm going to try and make this card a nice group there. Okay. All right, we're up to five now. So, now uh, we can get the grasslands. That's not horrible. And the tree would get rid of one of these. So we'll go ahead and purchase that. Okay. Wow, another very short turn. Three cards. Two mana. Okay, well. Let's put the top there and... We got up to, oh, we bought two fertile soils. I sort to four, but you see four doesn't really do as much. We got three, a three, and then it goes all the way up to six. So unfortunately, once again, four does not do a lot for us other than we can buy two fertile soils. So we will do that. We'll buy one in the middle here. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Let's do it like that. One in the middle. And we'll buy one in the bottom. And that'll be it. Yes, uh, so we got our harvester. We can get rid of a card. We'll discard that. Oh, yeah, much better turn. Much better turn. There we go. So you can see we earned one sun. But that's all we earned. Uh, but we did get a bunch of nice... We have our helmet guy here. So again, this guy works well with the helmet. So we will... Um, yeah, we're not going to risk it. We had a pretty good draw that time. You can see lots of cards. <clears throat> so we will... Uh, oh, no, don't hit the wrong button there, buddy. <coughs> All right, so I'm hoping to get this guy and this guy. If we can get both of those guys on this card, that would be amazing. But at least we got this guy. And then we can get a nice podling if he has somewhere that works well with him. He does not 
have a great location. I usually like to put my guys together that have the icons. So what we might do instead is put this here. So we bought the hawk and the podlings. All right, well, we ended up with just two cards, but four mana. And if we were to push our luck, we would get two more mana. Let's see how many cards. Uh, I only have five cards left, so what is our... Okay, um, four mana, again, four doesn't do us a lot. We can get the nice fields of flower for two mana. I'd like to get that five, but you know what? I like these, I like that, and it's got a nice spot, so we'll go ahead and get it. That's fine. Let's see what this cheating AI is doing here. Once again, boy, we are getting the very short runs here. That's crazy. Three cards left. Not sure why it's not showing us our... Should be showing us our discard pile. Yeah, I want to see our 14 cards. I don't... Uh, one, two... Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. So they have three cards left. We have one good and two bad. Mm. I'm sorry. We have one bad and two good. Is it worth risking? Three mana is not going to get us anything. I'm going to risk it. We got a 66% chance. Okay. Which gives us four, which is much better. We will stop with four. And we will buy. So for four, we can buy two fertile soils. Or we can get a Wayfarer that gives us a animal spirit and a mana. I think we're going to do that. Oh, he bought. And then he bought. And he's still buying. What the heck is... How much money did he earn? Good lord. Oh, wait a minute. That's why I was on... I clicked on him, not me, for our discard pile. Good thing I didn't spoil... Oh, wait. Uh, maybe we... We are the red one. Okay, no, I was right. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Had me confused there for a second. Very confused. What can I say? Hey, <laughs> All right, but we had a pretty good run here. We had eight, We have eight out here and boy a nice card here but eight is pretty decent we didn't end end up earning any spirits at all though kind of kind of disappointing there and of course if you're familiar with mystic veil this is of course the box logo is this picture here this card is worth plus one at the end of the game for each of those symbols on this card. So every symbol on the card that has this is worth um, plus one. But she's expensive. Nine. We just missed her though, actually. We could risk it. Ah. Let's see what we have here. We don't. We don't have any combos going on right now. None at all, really, to be honest. S 
Hmm, six will leave us with two. All right, we will go ahead, buy this, and we'll buy this, and we'll be done. We bought another veil. Lucky, lucky, lucky. So yeah, we only have three cards in our field, but we have six mana now. Much better. We can get this Mindful Owl, which has a nice two mana group. We still didn't get our little uh, helmet guy yet. So hopefully he'll stay out. Wait for that card to come out. So we'll go ahead and grab Mr. Bear again with that nice growth symbol. Or mm, more mana. Hmm. I think we'll do the growth. Okay, well we can discard a card. It's not gonna be that one there, Junior. Let's get rid of this crappy card. Wow, nice card. Nice run this time. So we got 13 mana. We got a sun. We got an animal. Which will... Um, yes, it allows us to buy this card here. It's worth two victory points, so that's good. Uh, and we have 13 mana to buy. We got our little helmet guy out, right? Grove Tender, uh, plus one for each helmet, yep. So, if we bought this, yeah, we're not definitely going to not risk. We have how many cards out here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cards out here. Not going to risk it. What we're going to do is we're going to buy this card. I'm going to put this card in with our Feral Chieftain. And he and this car should give us lots of good. It's like is a six. We have seven left. Uh, we might as well purchase this two virtuous points. And we have seven left, huh? This is a corruption and a helmet and a victory point. Um, I think I would rather, I think I would rather put this owl by himself, maybe. He bought the cleansing rain. All right, not a great turn for us. Only four mana. If we were to push that, we'd get five, six, seven. There's four cards left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two good and two bad. Hmm. Four mana really is not. We can't even buy any more of the. We're out of. So the only thing we could buy is a Cleansing Rain. Do we risk it? A 50-50 chance. Ugh. Mm, I guess not. Oh, hey, Craig, how you doing? Good to see you. I'm glad you're doing this one. Mystic Veil is predominantly in my pile of shame. <laughs> uh, do we want to put this by itself? I think we do. Let's go ahead and do that. You bought the plow and a hawk. The plow was five and the hawk was four. 
That is crazy. All right, we got two animals. That's not going to do us anything, is it? No. We don't have animals. Ugh. We need to get some of the other symbols. We only have eight, though. We can't get nine. Unless we push our luck. Um, you know what? We will keep this. I'm going to go ahead and spend the bear totem and that will cancel that corruption as well. Uh, nope. We don't want to cancel that. Thanks. Uh, we'll cancel this one this time. Uh, I don't have anything I want to get rid of. Thanks. Wow, we got a super turn again. 18 mana. One sun, one bear. Well, yeah, we're not risking anything. So... We're going to put this in a card with lots of symbols. This guy here, let's see, 9 and 9 would be 18. We could actually put these two together. Do we have a blank card? We do have a blank card. So, so is helmets? Helmets are not there. But we do have mana, growth, corruption. Hel oh, helmets are there. Um, yeah, we will, uh, oh, you know what? I just realized just as I was laying that down, this is the same spot. It, they can't work together. Ah, God bless it. Ah, why did it have to be that way? Why? And I probably, can I, un, yeah, I, can I undo that? Yes, okay. Thank God. Because now, mm, we got eight, uh, 19 victory points still. This should come out a couple turns, but I want to probably put her in a card that's already got something. So that she's not worth nothing at the end of the game. Dang. Will she come out again? Mm. Mindful Owl is top. The plow is bottom. So we could put her with the plow. Is that a vict victory points? No, just for symbols, helmets, corruption, growth, and mana. So that would only be a two. I'd really like her to put her with this one because that would have been one, two, three, four, five things. That would have been awesome. But they take the same slots. That is a one, two... This is a one, two, three thing. But again, it's the top, so it doesn't work well with her. Dang. I could put her with the owl, but... Uh... Huh. And we don't have anything really in our... 
Hmm. Yeah, oh, dang, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang, dang, dang. This is a top. This is a top. This is a top. All right. Well, we're gonna hope. We gotta hope that she comes out again later. Um. We could bring the life bringer seed, which would cancel that corruption on us. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Okay, this is discard card. I want to make sure I read these right because. Hmm. What's this one do? I think we'll discard that one. And then this is, yeah, discard a card. Let's get rid of that one. And the Mindful Owl, you may discard any other card in your field, right? Yeah, I don't see one I want to discard. We are like almost drawing our complete hand every turn. As a matter of fact, I think we just did. We have 20 cards out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yes, we've driven. We're going to draw every card that we have in our hand every time. Wow, that is really good. But unfortunately, we get four, four animals and one sun and that doesn't get us anything. God, we need to get we need to get some more dudes. Okay, now we have 26 mana. So now we can buy the ent and this gala. Oh, yeah, we're definitely not risking anything. Put that there, and then you, come here. Unfortunately, we got eight extra mana, but I think we're going to be drawing every one of our cards. This is crazy. I've never had that happen before. Discard. Right. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and discard that card. Discard. Do we have anything bad? Hmm. Not really. Cancel. Uh, search your deck or... No, no. We don't want to discard that. Twenty-seven mana, five animals, two suns. Yeah, well, we're not risking anything. Look at that. That's much better. That's what I like to see. The whole sky just lights up. All right. Well, let's buy three victory points. Is three victory points. 
Then we get the stag, which if we, yeah. So this is one, two, three. Oh, it's got two helmets on it too. Do we have something with helmets? Guardian symbols. Everyone just calls them helmets, but I guess technically they are. What's a will-o'-wisp? Two victory points and a mana, huh? Um, <laughs> right, the Feral Chieftain. What, what, oh, we filled up the Feral Chieftain, right. You could put him down here with these guys. And that would give us two more points for this person. Where's our other one? Here, she's by herself. This one is worth one, two, three, four. Oh, and this is a bottom. That's going to work out pretty good, I think, actually. So if we buy this stag. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a middle. Okay. And then we can buy this guy as a bottom. That's going to get us that. That's going to get us that. Now she's going to get us a lot of points for this. All these symbols on here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve points for that. I think that's huge. Uh, cleansing rain. Search your discard pile for any card and you may put in your discard pile. Discard. Um, that cancels that. Now I don't. I don't. I don't. Um. <laughs> No, I, I, yeah, I think we're, I think we're okay. Thanks. Our turn, 26 mana. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, uh, we have nothing in our uh, draw pile, so. So three victory points, sir. Uh, and then once per turn, choose a card in your field or on deck. That card gains plus one helmet until the end of the turn. That sounds really good. We get plus one mana or we can get plus one earth every turn. I think we're going to get this one. We need the earth. We need the earth. We need the earth. We need the earth. All right. What's this guy? Gain two for each helmet on this card. Really? I don't know if we have any more. Oh, we got a helmet there. He would fit in the bottom. Sure. Okay. Still have 17 left, unfortunately. Kind of limited on what we can buy. Uh, yep, get rid of the cursed land. You know, get rid of that. Uh, yeah, I'll just cancel. There's only three victory points left. We're going to have, nope, that's it. He got the last three victory points. And yes, we win 53 to 34. Um, I think it'll actually. Does it break it down by categories or something? Uh, 
Uh, here's our cards, and then here is our veils. We only ended up with four veils. Hmm. What does this show us? How much each of our cards are worth is the question. I'd like to see how... Doesn't show us how much that card is worth, though. Okay, that shows us that. Thought it would break it down like. Six. Maybe, maybe that's this. This card is worth one victory point at the end for each symbol. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, that would be this. Where's our other one, though? Why isn't she gaining any points? She should have gained one, two, three, four, five, six for that as well. Hmm, I guess it doesn't. All right, well, 53 to 34. 34 is a pretty good score. Anywhere between, say, 26 and 36 is, a, I guess, pretty average. If you get above 36, 36 to 46 is pretty high. I've never, I don't know if I've ever had 53, so that was crazy. I've never been able to draw my, like, my whole hand every single turn there for like three or four times at the end that was crazy crazy good though i guess but that's uh that's how you play mystic veil um trying to get better cards trying to you know there's i guess different strategies but for doing different things trying to get your different cards to work together hopefully you saw some of that but Getting the guardian symbols to work together, getting rid of some of the corruption, and uh, trying to get some growth on your cards to cancel the corruption, and then you can see what happens. <laughs> so uh, that was lucky, I guess, but we ended up winning. So happy days, happy days. So that's Mystic Veil. Vale. You can pick it up on Steam, pretty darn cheap, but you can also get the Card and dice version. I do like the card and dice version a little bit better because you can see everything kind of in front of you. Uh, it is a little bit harder and longer because, of course, the computer, you know, calculates everything for you to let you know how much you have. So you don't need to recalculate every time. And the other problem is when you play solo is you forget half of the damn special abilities your card's got. You just flip through them and... <laughs> I always, oh, yeah, okay, flip, flip, flip. I always forget to use my, oh, well, discard a card that's in your <laughs> in your veil. So, And obviously seeing things out in front of you makes it a little bit easier to play because you, you can see everything. You can see how many cards you have left. You know, you can feel things. So I would recommend you buy the, at least the board game version as well. But... Fun, fun game. If you have the Nemesis expansion, you can play solo. If you don't have the Nemesis expansion, then you're going to need to either um, play both hands yourself against yourself or, um, you know, find a, find somebody that um, you can teach the game to. So, anyways... John DeClaire, Mystic Veil. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll see everyone next time. Thanks for watching. Take care, Craig. Hopefully you'll pull it out of the drawer and play it one of these days. And uh, let me know how it goes. Leave me a comment and tell me how good a game and how much you enjoyed it. I'd like to hear that. So thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see everybody next time. Have a good night.